So everyone, once again I am Elsa, um, I am from NIT Tirchirapalli, so I will be taking data science for engineers. Today's uh, topic is the week 4 um, lectures which were taken in the course for data science for engineers. So I hope uh, still people are there remaining to join, just give me a moment. Okay. So, uh, we will start with the session today. So, this, <coughs> this week you have learned about optimization. Okay, so optimization um, as defined in Wikipedia, it is a problem that consists of maximizing or minimizing a real function by systematically choosing input value from within as allowed set and computing the value of the function okay this is what is defined in, defined there so it is of very um, great importance in data science so it is the use of a specific method optimization means the use of a specific method to determine the best solution to the problem okay so it can be like the best line to represent data so for example if you have a set of data falling like this within the x and y axis i mean it can be any of your columns in your data set so if you have a set of points like this then a line which best represents or best fits the points can be taken as the best line and this kind of problems um, later when you check on these kind of problems they are usually known as regression problems now there can be other types of problems also where we will uh, have to classify into one particular category or another category. So in that case it is like best line to classify data. Okay. So this particular example is taken from the um, iris data set which uh, consists of sepal length, petal length for three different flowers. Okay. So based on that, we will be classifying it as one other color, one uh, flower or the other flower. Okay. Now, right now in this example, only two flowers are um, depicted here. So we'll move on to the next slide. Now, in this optimization itself, there will be univariate and multivariate. So univariate optimization problem, uh, you might have gone through all these in the lectures I will give a just a brief um, intro about all these different optimization problems so the first one is like there will be you will be having an objective function so your um, intention is to minimize usually or maximize the objective function and then you can have decision variables and constraints okay so here it will be like if f of x is the objective function here then you have to minimize that and the graph shown here shows how your data can be represented so here in this particular for this particular objective function there will be a global maximum as well as a local maximum so you can see here in this graph there is a global maximum and a local maximum then there can be two minimums also as shown in this figure there is a global minimum and a local minimum okay then univariate optimization conditions usually are told so told like if you have to minimize a particular f of x so f of x denotes whatever is that you have to do to a particular problem okay so the necessary condition for x to be minimizer is like f dash of x equal to 0 that is the first derivative of that equal to 0 and sufficient condition will be like the double derivative of that objective function should be greater than 0 ok and in case uh, if the objective is like to maximize so we do not usually do that maximization is not done in the optimization problem but still if some uh, problem is there like to uh, maximize a particular function then this particular condition should be like uh, less than 0 but here in our optimization problem um, 
the objective function will be like minimize so for minimization we need greater than 0 now I have just given like the minima and maxima of f of x exist when the given things ok so it is like minima exist when f dash of x equal to 0 and maxima of f of x exist when double derivatives are given here so f double dash of x is less than 0 ok now we have a question uh, f dash f of x equal to x raised to 4 by 4 so I am directly entering into the problems here then we will move on to the multivariate so in this particular problem we have to find the stationary po points for the following points for the following um, objective function and the values of x at which minima exist and its value ok so it, it is like first you have to take uh, f dash of x equal to 4 x cube 4 x cube by 4 minus 3 x square by 3 minus 2 x ok so you can also calculate parallelly minus 2x and it will be coming like x cube minus x square minus 2x then if you do like uh, x cube if you put this f dash of x that is the necessary condition is equal to 0 then f dash of x wait a moment please f dash of x equal to uh, 0 if you substitute like that then it will be coming like um, x cube minus x square minus minus 2x equal to 0 just give me there is a problem with the pointer ok someone has given x into x plus 1 into x minus 2 ok ok it might be coming like that ok so if you take like um, if, if you take like x into sorry wait for a moment like uh, one swami has written like x into x minus 1 so x plus 1 into x minus 2 ok 0 to minus 1 ok yes everyone is writing the answers ok so we will follow with that the x values are coming like 0 minus 1 and 2 ok so what should be you you be doing the stationary points you got ok then find the values of x at which minima exist ok then what you have to do is f dash of x you have to find and that will be equal to um, f double dash of x that will be equal to what 3 x square minus 2 x minus 2 and 
at these points you have to try what is the answer so f double dash of x at x equal to 0 will be coming like minus 2 and f da double dash at minus 1 will be coming like um, 3 plus 2 minus 2 it will be coming like 3 and f double dash of 2 okay there is some problem with my um, right okay pointer and so like f of 2 will be coming like what what will be the answer f double dash of 2 mm, can anyone find it out Okay, so Haryom Kyagi is given like minima at 2. Uh, okay, we will see. So, what is the necessary, what is the sufficient condition there? Now, you are getting it like 3. Okay, so it will be like 3 into 4 minus, okay, that is 12 minus 4 minus, so 6 will be coming, right? 3 into 2 square is 4, yes, yeah, 4 minus 2, 6 will be coming, so it is 6, it is, I mean for f double dash of 0 is minus, okay, minus 2, then f double dash of minus 1 is 3 and f double dash of uh, 2 is 6, so in that case, um, what will be coming, which, where will be the minima at that time? Okay, at 0, so 1 has given like it is at 0, okay, that is fine, everyone is sure with that answer, Haryom is giving as minima at x equal to minus 2, Haryom can you tell me what is these necessary and sufficient conditions? Okay, you can type also. And uh, Swami was telling zero. Uh, can anyone now tell me what is the minimum requirement? Yeah. Okay, Swami, now you are right. Yeah. So, the sufficient condition is like f double dash of x should be greater than zero. Second derivative should be positive. Yes. So, in that case, what you can do is like um, for this particular question, the values of x at which minima exist and its value. So, here you can see that there are two, okay, 3 and 6. So, now what you have to do is like put these values f double dash, f dash, sorry, f of minus 1 you have to find and f of 2 you have to find. So, what will be the answer for f of minus 1? f of minus 1 will be 1 by 4 because you are getting 2 answers. Second derivative is positive in 2 cases. So, you have to find for both those cases. So, f of minus 1 will give you 1 by 4 minus plus 1 by 3 right 1 by 4 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 ok it will be coming a negative value and f double dash sorry f of 2 will be coming like it will be coming like 16 by 4 minus 8 by 3 minus 4 okay so both these answers you can tell me mm, 
minus 2 by 3 at minus 1 ok I am just checking the answers ok minus 8 by 3 at 2 so which is the minimum value here Okay, are you sure you are getting uh, that much? Okay, everyone fine with this? Everyone is getting minus 8 by 3, is it? minus 8 by 3 at 2 ok ok so that is the minimum value so you can tell that it will be like minus 8 by 3 ok so everyone is getting that we will move on to the next question ok Mm, so here what you can see is like just wait a moment So, okay, we will come back to the next one. Okay, so the answer is minus 5 by 12, okay. Just, uh, okay, so that is another question. It is like we have many rectangles of area 100. We have to find which has the smallest per perimeter, okay. So, we will be taking like L be the length and b be the breadth of the rectangle so just have to check something mm, okay okay so it's the exam pattern exam pattern usually will be mcq caution yeah um so let L be the length and B be the breadth of the rectangle. So area equal to L B in L into B perimeter. You know as you know 2 L plus 2 B. So the optimization function is perimeter. So we have asked like we have to find the smallest perimeter. And the decision variable is the length. Okay. In this case. So it will be like F of L we will be giving equal to 2L plus 2B. So, because it is the perimeter of the rectangle. So, in, in terms of L, we have to change all these things. So, 2L plus 2 into A by L we will take from here. L equal to area by breadth. So, by that we will do and we will get this form of equation for the objective function. Then, applying the first order necessary condition F dash of X equal to 0, we will get F dash of L equal to 2 minus 200 <coughs> by L square equal to 0 ok then if you solve this you can solve this later you will be getting this answer and so we know that the length cannot be negative and hence the length of the rectangle is 10 
then calculating the breadth equal to 10 the perimeter of the rectangle is p equal to 2 into 10 plus 2 into 10 equal to 40 okay so that you'll be getting later you can try this question then the next one is um, a manufacturer determines that the daily average of producing q units is determined by the number of units produced per day which minimizes the average cost we have to minimize the average cost so c of please solve this problem what what is that yeah, i have already told that it will be mcq usually but you have to see wait for some weeks actually to find out by next week i'll make it clear okay if that is the question or are you meaning like to solve this problem okay yes so the cost is given the average cost is given like 0 0.001 q square minus 0 0.08 q plus 65 plus 5000 by q so the optimization function is given like c of q and q is the decision variable so you can write like this so the cost function is given you can see that in this particular function given here this is like the minimum here okay so first you have to find this point so for that we will first apply the first order necessary condition which is like c dash of q equal to 0 so if you give c dash of q q equal to so if you find c dash of q it will be like 0 0.002 q minus 0 0.08 then it, this will be coming like minus 5000 by q square so this is the equation which is the first derivative so solving the above equation the critical value will come like q equal to 500 okay now we will check the second order condition which is like double derivative should be greater than 0 so when we take the double derivative it will be coming like this and we will be putting q equal to 500 in that okay so putting critical value in the equation gives a positive value that means that the second derivative is greater than 0 then we can say that the manufacturing cost can be minimized by producing q equal to 500 units ok this is also just a simple problem next we will look at multivariate optimization so here this you have seen in your lectures this particular picture so it will be like is said it is a function of different uh, variables ok a set of variables like given like x1 x2 etc up to xn so in the lectures you might have seen like you, you might have seen a picture like this where z is given as root of x1 square plus x2 square and a contour plot was also shown there which will show the values i mean which will show the contour for increasing values of z okay so just i'll go through briefly through the multivariate optimization condition so if your objective function is a function of different variables given from x1 x2 etc up to xn then the necessary condition for x to be minimizer is first is the gradient of f of x should be equal to 0 so gradient means dou f by dou x1 dou f by dou x2 etc till dou f by dou xn and the sufficient condition is like del square f of x have to be positive definite ok so this is usually given like a matrix known as hessian ok that is meant by like this ok dou square f by dou x1 all the diagonal members will be like um, taken derivative with respect to the same variable ok so dou square f by dou x2 whole square then dou, f, dou square f by dou xn square so this will be the uh, diagonal and the other things will be like symmetric this will be this is the uh, particular thing about this particular matrix so it will be yes it is a symmetric matrix okay so if you find out this upper diagonal portion then you can 
replicate the same for the lower part okay now find the first and second order con necessary conditions for the function and tell whether the minima exists or not so the function you have uh, here is x1 plus 2x2 plus 4x1 square minus x1 x2 plus 2x2 the whole square so here applying the first order necessary condition del f equal to 0 i mean then you have to first find the gradient so do this is like sorry this is a typo do f by do x1 so you will be getting like uh, first for do f1 you will be getting like 1 plus 8 x1 minus x2 and 2 uh, for do f by do x2 you will be getting 2 minus 1 minus x1 plus 4 x2 and you will be substituting it equal to 0 so if you solve this particular one you will be getting x1 and x2 as this particular these particular values then checking the second order necessity condition that is del square f should be positive definite so applying these values of x1 and x2 and um, sorry uh, first you have to find the del square so for that you have do f by do x1 and do f by do x2 so do f by do x1 you have to de find the derivative with respect to x1 again similarly in this particular portion you have to um, find the derivative of do f by do x2 with respect to x2 again then in this particular portion take either of the one do f by do x1 and with respect to x2 if you do you can put this one here and the same you can replicate it here okay so let me try with the pen actually so here you can see that do f do f by do x1 equal to 1 plus 8 x1 minus x2 do f by do x2 equal to 2 minus x1 plus 4 x2 so first you have to find do square f by do x square so here you will be taking this particular x1 first and sorry x1 square so you have to differentiate it again with respect to x1 so in this first one if you differentiate again with respect to x1 you will be getting 8 okay now do square f by do x2 square we will try so do x2 is this one okay if you differentiate it with respect to x2 again you will be getting 4 actually so 4 will be the answer and next one is do f do square f by do x1 do x2 so either one you select okay so i'll select do f by do x1 first so with respect to x2 i have to differentiate it so with respect to f x2 if i do the first one then i'll be getting minus 1 is the answer so in this particular matrix i have got 8 then do f do square f by do x1 x2 i am getting as minus 1 the same can be replicated here and there is do square f by do x2 whole square as 4 okay so the what you have to do is now you have got a matrix here you have to find the eigen values of this matrix so you can find it out using any other method like the like using r studio you can find eigen of this matrix okay that is also possible or what you can do is like you have to use the traditional method like a minus determinant of a minus lambda equal to 0 that you have to substitute and find the eigen values okay so in that case the eigen values are coming as 3.76 and 8.23 so these both eigen values are zero, uh, greater than 0 so that means that if the eigen values are greater than 0 you can tell that your particular the hessian matrix is positive definite and that is the condition you have to satisfy that is the sufficient condition meaning like the hessian matrix or del square f star 
f of x star should be positive definite so here you are getting it as positive definite so the hence the minima exist at the critical points which are given as x1 equal to minus 0.19 and x2 equal to minus 0.54 okay then finally in the fourth lecture you have seen gradient descent method so it is like applicable to find the minima of a function so it is usually seen applied in back propagation algorithm to find the parameter in machine learning problems so okay so wait a moment okay so the step one is like so if you have a function like this the step one is iteration start at one particular value of x k then you will have to find a search direction okay and that search direction will determine in which way this function will move and then the new point is defined by x raised to k plus 1 equal to x k which is the starting point plus alpha k into s k where alpha k is the step size in machine learning problems you will see it is the learning parameter also so this is the gradient descent method so all these things we will see in problems right now so i think we will move on to the next portion which is um, okay wait wait a moment okay so this is just an illustration again so this is the cost function and this is the parameter so if you start at this point it will be coming to the next point and as long as your learning parameter or the step size varies if it is a big value then your steps will be very big if it is a small value then it will be like a small variation small steps it will be taking so this is the way the different uh, points are moving and uh, we'll see an example of that also before moving on to the assignment questions so the function is given like x1 square minus 2x1 x2 plus 2x2 square plus 2x1 so first you have to find del of f it is found out then the initial values are given like 0 0 and step size we are taking as 0 0.5 so the next level is like x1 equal to x0 plus alpha into s raised to 0 so um, x0 we already have it as 0 0 it's written here minus alpha is 0 0.5 and the next one is the gradient so in the gradient we'll be putting the starting values which is 2 into 2 into 0 <coughs> minus 2 into 0 plus 2 and minus 2 into 0 plus 4 into 0 which will be giving this particular value as the next point now using this point we'll be applying this uh, same equation which is like x2 equal to x1 plus alpha s raised to 1 so it will be like minus 1 0 minus 0 0.5 into 2 into minus 1 in this case minus 2 into 0 in case of x2 plus 2 likewise we will substitute the values and we will get this answer then using this one we are asked to find till the third iteration so for the third iteration x raised to 3 is equal to x square plus alpha s, s square so in this way we will end up with these points x1 equal to minus 2 and x2 equal to minus 1 after 3 iterations ok so if you want to learn more about the hessian matrix I have given you a link you can check this later now we will move on to the assignment questions ok so I have set of assignment questions so i'll share this one so now we'll start solving the problems so first let f of x equal to x cube plus 6 x square minus 3 x minus 5 you have to find the correct options from the following okay so it's given like a maximum point is given minimum point is given stationary points are given 
we have to find what are the answers okay so so i think we can start solving the problem and you can parallelly do with me also and tell me the answer okay so first one it will it will be like f of x equal to x cube plus 6x square minus 3x minus 5 okay so first we'll do the f dash of x f dash of x will be coming like um 3x square plus 12x minus 3 okay now i'll put f dash of x equal to 0 that means like it will be coming like um first we'll um reduce this thing it will be coming like x square plus uh, if we take the common factor it will be coming like x square plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0 okay so it will be like what will be coming here the answer can you tell me you can solve this using a calculator also or you can put it like okay 4x 4x are you telling like the fourth option srinivas okay how you can solve it by pen and pencil is like you can find the quadratic okay quadratic equation so it's like 3x square plus 12x minus 3 you will be getting x as either minus 2 plus or minus root 5 okay all right everyone is getting this one i hope everyone is getting if anyone is not getting just inform me okay so you are getting x1 x2 as minus 2 plus root 5 and minus 2 minus root 5 okay now yeah you are okay yeah fine so what can you do is next you have to find f double dash of x so f double dash of x will be coming like anyway we'll take from this itself so it will be like 6x uh plus 12 will be coming okay and you have to put these values of x okay so f double dash so i'll just write it here x1 equal to minus 2 plus root 5 and x2 equal to minus 2 minus root 5 so in this case f double dash of x at x1 equal to Uh, six into minus two plus root five plus twelve. The answer will be coming around six root five. Right, six minus twelve. Yeah, six root five will be coming. And f double dash of x at x two will be minus two minus root five. So minus six root five will be coming. So in this case, which is the minimum? f double dash of x at x1 came as 6 root 5 and f double dash of x at x2 came as minus 6 root 5 so you can clearly see that okay jason what is the sufficient condition a second option you are telling us correct okay so this is like minus 2 plus root 5 will give the maximum that is right here it is the maximum point and minus 2 plus 5 sorry it will be this is the sorry i have made a mistake this is the minimum point and this is the maximum point so this answer is correct minus 2 plus root 5 will be the minimum for f of x okay now what is the third option given the stationary points of f of x are minus 2 plus root 5 or minus 2 minus root 5 this is also correct right ha hello ma'am 
This option is correct. Yes. Ma'am, it is. Look at the third option. Okay. This is also correct, right? The stationary points are minus two plus root five and minus two minus root five. Okay. So you will have this also as the answer. Okay. Ma'am, excuse me. Yes. So the final answer is minus two plus root five will give the minimum for f of x, and stationary points are these two. Okay. So two answers you are getting. So we'll have a set of questions now. We have to use the following information which is given there. It is given like f of x equal to x raised to four plus seven x cube plus five x square minus seventeen x plus three. Let x star be the maximizer for f of x. So in this case, what you can do is like, what is the sec? It's directly asked. What is the second order sufficient condition for x star to be the maximizer of function f of x? Okay. So you can start with the first finding the derivative. So f dash of x will be four x cube plus twenty one x square plus ten x. Minus seventeen, right? And f dash of x equal to zero. You can solve this. Uh, solve this and tell me what is f dash of x equal to zero, right? Use a calculator, or you can use any other method. So tell me the answer. What you are getting? Okay, so the question asked is like, what is the second order sufficient condition for x star to be the maximizer of the function? Okay, so just remember that it is the maximizer. Yeah. Okay, so maximizer is asked. So again, let it be there. We'll find the um, stationary points later. So Jason is giving fourth. Okay, we'll just see. So f double dash of x is like. Twelve x square plus forty two x plus correction four. Okay, yeah, mm, we'll see plus ten. Okay, so whatever answers you are getting here, you have to substitute here and find out what is the answer. So you have you have got it like this: twelve x square plus four x plus ten. Okay, forty two x plus ten. Yeah. So this is like just ask what is the condition. So this is the second derivative. So you can just directly tell that the fourth option is correct for maximizing since the question is maximizer. Okay. So that is the answer. Fourth answer: twelve x square plus forty two x plus ten is less than zero. Now um, just see what is the given. Question because we will be moving on to the next part. So next part is asked like find the value of x star. Okay, x star is given as the value where maximizer is present. So what is the second order sufficient condition for x star to be the maximizer? So then what is the maximum value coming? You have to find out. Okay, so from here you can find out these are the kind of answers you will be getting. So first we will check that. Okay, have any of any of you found out the answers for the stationary points? So I think you'll be getting like uh, this one. So x x values will be coming like uh, like one minus one point four three two. Another value will be coming like minus four point four eight and. Another value is point six six two. Are you getting these answers? Okay. Just check if this is correct. If you are getting these answers, I'll wait a moment.
have you done it ma'am in this first option is also correct ma'am our first rule oh it's uh, asked jason it's asked what is the second order sufficient condition right this is right i mean that question is right yeah that that option is right but it is specifically asked like second order so that's why we are putting this one okay so what you have to do i think you have got these three answers right so what you have to do is for each of these ones you have to find out f double dash of x so first you will put with uh, you can put with 0 0.662 in the double dash equation so it will be coming around like uh, i think you can solve this one 0 0.662 whole square plus 42 into 0 0.662 plus 10 the answer will be coming around um, let me just check i think it will be coming around 43 okay then if you check sorry if you check it for minus 1.432 the same substitution you can give instead of 0.662 you can give minus 1.432 and you will be getting the answer like um, minus 74.59 and i think you are all getting these answers okay if you want any explanation i can give you and for minus 4.48 you will be getting the answer like you can find it out later then 419 minus 419 so in this case you were finding out like the maximizer for the function so maximizer means it should be like less than 0 so in this case for minus 1.432 f double dash of x is less than 0 here also it's less than 0 okay so you have two conditions to check hmm? now what you should be doing then you should be taking f of x these two values so these two values are like you have minus 1.432 minus 1.432 you are having 1.43 we can take and the other value is minus um, just i forgot yeah minus 4.48 these two values you are having so you want to find minus f of minus 1.3 as well as f of minus 4.48 okay i'm just solving the full questions okay so you'll be getting it like just solve this later f of minus 1.43 is coming like minus 1.43 you'll be getting and minus 4.48 you'll be getting like minus 47.07 like that you will be getting right any problems in this one so what can you do these are all negative values so in this negative values we are asked to find out the maximum so this is the maximum value here maximum at my at minus 1.43 right so then you can tell that the value of x star is minus 1.43 okay so the answer is minus 1.43 maximum value is that one in in uh, the negative values which are present okay any questions in this one if there is any question you can put in the chat box okay i'll move on to the next one next one is f of x previous slide okay which one psi is this the one you are asking okay what is your doubt Okay. Mm, 
yes so next one is f of x equal to 2 sin x 0 less than x less than 2 pi we have to select the correct options from the following ok so it is a sign signal right what can we do is like we can just plot the signal ok ok so the signal will be like anyway it is a sign signal right so sign since a sign function it will be having anyway this particular shape only ok and there is no shift or anything so it will be coming like so since 0 value it is 0 pi by 2 anyway it is given like from 0 to 2 pi so pi by 2 it will be this value pi and here in this particular portion it will be 3 pi by 2 and it will be 2 pi and its amplitudes will be like um, here it will be it is 2 sin x so it will be 2 and at the bottom it will be minus 2 ok so directly from the function you can tell that in at pi by 2 it is the global maximum anyway because the range is given up to 2 pi only so you can tell that the global maximum here is at pi by 2 right and at 3 pi by 2 you have the global minimum ok so this is a direct answer you can tell that first one and the fourth one are the answers ok so we will move on to the next question now this is a connected question so here it is given like f of x equal to 2x1 square plus 3x1 x2 plus 3x2 square plus x1 plus 3x2 first we have to find the gradient ok then a list of things are coming ok so first we will start with the gradient it is very simple first f of x is given like that so what will be del of f del of f is equal to two variables are there so do f by do x1 and do f by do x2 so these two you have to find out ok yeah so first option json is given yeah 4 x1 ok I will put that here 4 x1 plus 3 x2 plus 1 yes and the next one will be 3 x1 plus 6 x2 plus 3 so the first option will be coming here ok right that is the answer yeah everyone has got it second question find the stationary point for f of x so first you have got del of f like this right so I will just copy that here so you have got the gradient like 4 x1 plus 3 x2 plus 1 and this is like uh, 3 x sorry 3 x1 plus 4 x sorry oh 6 x2 sorry 3 x1 plus 6 x2 plus it will be coming like 3 ok this is the answer so what here what you have to do here this should be equated to 0 ok so it will be coming like so I just checked with the earlier answer 3 x 4 x1 plus 3 x2 plus 1 and 3 x1 plus 6 x2 plus 3 ok yeah copying is right so this one equal to 0 and 3x1 plus 6x2 plus 3 equal to 0 just solve this and tell me the x1 x2 values ok x1 x2 will be equal to you can tell me the options can directly solve this in your calculator also what will be x1 um, 
Jason is giving like are you telling the values for stationary points can you calculate it again okay murali krishnan is giving me like c okay yeah that is right so x1 will be coming like 0.2 and x2 um sorry it is like 0.2 and minus 0.6 okay it's not the reverse you'll be getting like 0.2 and minus 0.6 okay option c is correct yeah so we'll move on to the next one find the hessian matrix so right now we have reached till here okay del f is like this and we have got x1 x2 values also now we have to find the second derivative right because it's the hessian hessian matrix is asked so here itself i'll do the calculation so we have to find del square f okay so it will be like just i'll refresh what was given earlier it will be like x1 square and in the other diagonal it will be like x2 square here it will be do f do square f by do x1 x2 and here also do f square by i mean since it's symmetric i'll write like this itself okay yes so first you have to find do square f by do x1 square so do square do f by do x1 is this one right so again with respect to x1 you will be getting like 4 then do do f do f by do x2 is this one again with respect to x2 you will be getting like 6 and then do square f by do x1 x2 so first we'll do with this one so x do f by do x1 is this and if you differentiate it with it with respect to x2 you'll be getting 3 same you can repeat it here so this is the matrix you'll be getting so any options there we have got 4 3 3 6 right so the option is c okay any doubts in this i have solved this here if you have any doubts just mention that okay so the answer is 4 3 3 6 next we'll move on to the next question if there is no doubt okay so i'll move on to the next question the stationary point obtained in q6 is what the stationary point we have found out in q6 right question 6 we have found out the stationary points so they are asking it, whether it is a maxima minima or a saddle point okay so how do you find out that you have to find it out for so you have found out like 0.2 and 0 0.6 you have to substitute it in f of x okay so what you can do is f of x at 0.2 and minus 0.6 which are the x1 and x2 values so you have to put um, okay so i mean f double dash of x you have to find right so another way you can do is whether find it the find the eigen values of this particular matrix hessian matrix so can you find out the eigen values of this particular matrix to find it whether whether it is a maximum minimum or uh, station i mean a saddle point can you find it out just find out the eigen values okay so the matrix is 4 3 3 6 eigen values if you want to find it out like that a minus lambda determinant of a minus lambda you have to found find out that means 4 minus lambda 
3 3 and 6 minus lambda determinant of that right okay then what will you be getting 4 minus lambda into 6 minus lambda 6 minus lambda minus 9 equal to 0 you substitute and find the values for lambda okay so this equation is coming around like this i mean lambda square minus 10 lambda plus 15 equal to 0 if you solve this one you are getting it like lambda 1 lambda 2 equal to the two eigen values 8.16 and 1.83 okay you you can just check this later so anyway you are getting the eigen values as positive okay so this is a positive definite matrix so you can tell that it is a minima okay just i'll remove this one here okay so i have solved in the previous slide it is a minima in that particular option since why why because this is like positive definite matrix okay so we'll move on to the next question f of x1 x2 equal to 4 x1 square minus 4 x1 x2 plus 2 x2 square so we have to correct uh, select the correct options from the following okay so you can do this i mean it is the same thing which you have repeated many times now right now so you have to find the matrix f of x is given you have to find out f dash of x and then you have to find out f double dash of x okay can you tell me the answer i think this was already solved also similar question okay so what will be del f del f will be um, 8x1 minus 4x2 and minus 4x1 plus 4x2 okay that will be this one then we have to substitute it to 0 okay and find the answer so tell me the answer What you will be getting this is very direct yes 0 0 is the stationary point that is right because you will be getting here like x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to 0 right x1 comma x2 equal to 0 0 you will be getting in this case so you can tell that 0 0 is a stationary point for f of x okay okay you can again go and find del square since hessian matrix is also given so that that also you can find out so first you have to do with respect do f by do x1 again with respect to x1 you have to differentiate and you'll be getting like 8 and um, this one minus 4 and minus 4 and 4 you will be getting just find the eigen values of this one see if it is uh, all greater than 0 if it's all greater than 0 
then you can do it like positive definite otherwise you can tell it like not positive definite okay so find the eigen values of that one so it will be like uh, the equation will be 8 minus lambda minus 4 minus 4 4 minus lambda determinant of this one okay so sum is telling positive definite okay let's see 4 minus lambda i mean 8 minus lambda into 4 minus lambda minus 16 equal to 0 so you will be getting like minus lambda square uh, minus 8 lambda minus 4 lambda plus 32 okay 32 minus 8 lambda minus sorry minus 8 lambda minus 4 lambda minus lambda square minus 16 equal to 0 if you solve this one it will be coming round okay minus lambda square minus 12 lambda plus 16 equal to 0 lambda square plus 12 lambda minus 16 equal to 0 if you solve this one you will be getting like what will be the answer you are getting one point two one and minus thirteen point two one is that you are getting what are the Egan values you will be getting Okay, so I am getting the values like um, 1.21 and minus 13.21. Everyone is getting the same answer. Egan values are different, okay. It is not both positive. So, you can't tell it like it is positive definite, okay. So, in that case, but you can uh, like, uh, I mean it is coming like minus 13.21 and 1.21 okay so it's not positive definite so it will be coming in this option also okay but anyway sorry i think i have made a mistake uh, just let me see the answer is coming like that you are right just let me finish that Sankam is giving 10 point ok ok yeah I have made a mistake there 10.47 ok 10.47 and 1.52 ok then it is both greater than 0 that is why it is coming like positive definite ok so sorry I have made a mistake So the answer is positive definite okay so you can tell this one clearly in optimization problem the function we want to optimize is called can you tell me the answer okay objective function right Okay, then the optimization problem min of x of x can also be written as max of f of x. Is it true or false? Okay. 
can you write it like that negative okay yeah yeah so the answer is false okay if you have put yeah if you have put negative then it can be written now in the gradient descent algorithm this step size should al always be same for each iteration is it true or false okay it's false now some extra questions okay this you can solve and tell me the answer okay so the this this is the objective function okay anyway similar questions are coming only you can directly find it so the first question is f of x equal to 3x cube okay i think uh, this have been solved earlier itself so the answer is coming like yeah everyone is giving so everyone is giving b okay 12 x cube minus 3 minus 6 x square minus 6 x okay that is true yes then wait a moment okay so the second option is true then with the same one okay i have given the detailed solution also right then first order necessary condition is solved then when you differentiate it with respect to differentiate with respect to zero if you put it equal to zero then you will be getting the equation i mean the same equation where you which you had which you had seen here when you are putting it as zero you will be getting the uh, stationary point now which of the following points is or are the stationary points so we have reached till the station finding the stationary point so the equation was 12 x cube minus 6 x square minus 6 x 6 x is equal to 0 just equate this to 0 and find the value of x okay so if you find the value of x in that case what you will be getting tell me the answer the equation just i will write here once more it is like 12 x cube minus 6 x square minus 6 x equal to 0 tell me the values of x okay pulagam i think this is he has given it newly b and c he has, he has written okay so 0 and 1 any other answers okay one has to okay b and c zero and one everyone's getting what about minus one by two because it's x cube right anyway there should be th three points okay jason is giving like one by two are you sure Zero one is fine. That is fine. Everyone else is fine with one by two. Ah, huh? is it right? Sai Srinivas has given minus 1.5 sorry minus 0.5 everyone has solved it up huh? okay I think Jason have you solved it again just see the answer will be coming like minus 0.5 or minus 1 by 2 okay so the answers will be these three okay Jason just check once again Okay, anyway I will move on to the next one. 
so the third question so this is the answer 0 1 and minus 1.2 okay yeah I just given you the things the third question the stationary points which maximize the value of f of x since uh, I we have done this these quest type of questions just some time before that's why I'm not um, elaborating on them okay if anyone needs uh, any clarification you can tell okay so the stationary points which maximize the value of f of x is asked here so anyway you got here x equal to 0 1 and minus 1 by 2 so you have to see from them which will maximize the value of f of x so this is different here usually your optimization problem will look at minimization but here it's asked min maximize okay so which will maximize the value you have to find so first you have to find f double dash of x so f dash of x is given as 12 x cube minus 6 x square minus 6 x okay so it will be like derivative of okay do f by d by dx here you can tell it is like 12 x cube minus 6 x square so um, 6 x square minus 6 x okay so it will be coming like 36 x square minus 12 x minus 6 right hmm? and for these you have to find f double dash of 0 f double dash of 1 as well as f double dash of minus 1 by 2 tell me these answers minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 i think so i don't understand oh you're telling the answers okay yeah what is the answer for f double dash of 0 anyway f double dash of 0 will be minus 6 straight away you can tell that okay f double dash of 1 will be 36 minus 12 minus 6 right so it will be coming around 18 and minus 1 by 2 tell me the answer it will be 36 into 1 by 4 minus 12 into minus 1 by 2 minus 6 ok so it will be like 9 minus 6 minus 6 it will be coming around sorry this will be 1 by 4 my ok sorry this will be plus so answer will be are you getting this okay i hope everyone is getting these answers so it will be coming like 9 okay so you have got minus 6 18 and 9 you have to find out the maximizing value so maximizing value means what minimization you will be looking at f double dash of x greater than 0 since you are asked to maximize the value it will be the reverse okay so minus 6 will be like the maximization so the answer will be okay the condition for a local maximum is less than 0 so you have got less than 0 for f double dash of 0 right so at x equal to 0 you can satisfy the second order sufficient condition for local maximum is that fine if that's fine we'll move on to the next question any doubts you can put in the chat window okay now they are asking the stationary points which will minimize the value of f of x right now directly you can tell now like the other stationary points right so it will be like condition for a local minimum is greater than 0 and condition for a local maximum is less than 0 so right now it's asked for local minimum so this is the condition 
so anyway you had got 1 and minus 1 by 2 both you have got like I have solved it here like 18 and 9 okay so both are greater than 0 right so both the points it will be you can tell like 1 as well as minus 1 by 2 these are the answers for this one okay next one find the minima of the function f of x equal to x minus 5 whole square minus 5 using gradient search method starting from x equal to minus 6 and learning rate alpha equal to 0.5 and choose the correct statement from the options given below okay so we have to find out f of x so first f of x is given like x minus 5 the whole square minus 5 right that is given okay wait a moment so everyone there you can start solving solving this parallelly okay so we are asked find the minima of the function using gradient search method starting from x equal to minus 6 and learning rate this one okay so what is the equation that you have to use x of k plus 1 equal to xk plus alpha sorry xk minus just um, you are asked for the minimum right so xk minus alpha of f dash of x k right so you want to find out what is f dash first f dash of x k will be so x minus 5 this one is given so i think what can we do like we can just solve this one this will be like x square minus 10x plus 25 minus 5 that will be coming like x square minus 10x plus plus 20 so here in the f dash of x you can get it like 2x right Ten x is there, so two x minus ten. Okay, I think everyone got this much, right? So the first starting point is x zero. X zero is given like minus six. Alpha is given as point five. Okay, so you can write x one. X one you can write. Just wait a moment. x1 is given like um, x0 is minus 6 minus alpha is 0.5 into f dash of this one is 2 into x0 you have to substitute there minus 6 minus 10 ok so x1 you will be getting like minus 6 minus 0.5 into this will be coming like minus 22 so it will be minus 6 plus 11 answer will be 5 right so x1 is 5 so x0 was minus 6 x1 is 5 right now we are asked to find like many values are given minimum maximum everything is given okay so x2 also we will find okay so okay jason is giving a like a value as minus 22 okay i think you don't uh, jason how do you how did you get minus 22 where did you get minus 22 you can put that and just i'll keep on solving for the next one no ma'am previous step you got minus 22 why okay let me just check 
A and D Pulaga is giving. You are correct in the okay. Yeah. So X2 we will see what X2 is. Right? So X2 will be coming like mm, so X2 is I mean we have to put XK. So XK is like X1 minus alpha F dash of X1. So X1 is have come at like uh, 5 minus 0.5 I will write like 1 by 2 okay for AC solution I mean solving the equation and um, F dash of X1 anyway F dash of XK is given as 2X minus 10 so here will be 2 into X1 is 5 right so it will be 10 minus 10 0 uh, Jason, with like, uh, in what you are con confused? Just I missed the last of the chat actually. This value again will be coming like five. Okay. Just uh, rephrase the question, Jason. Uh, what you want to do okay meanwhile I will solve the rest okay so at x1 you got it as 5 x2 also you got as 5 okay so I think we will stop the iteration here okay we can stop the iteration here and so we have to find the value at that particular f value okay so x value we are getting as 5 then f of x at this value we will see okay anyway f dash is coming like that one and f of x at that value yeah okay then okay jason so x minimum minimum value for x is actually 5 because it's not changing after 2 iteration so minimum at is f of x equal to minus 5 is the first option so we have to find what is f of x also so f of x at x equal to the 5 we have to find out okay so it is coming like minus 5 so you can say that minimum value of f of x is minus 5 and x equal to 5 yields, yields the minimum of the function okay that's how you can solve it so the detailed solution is given here you can check that then the gross domestic product of a country in billion dollars at a following i think the previous question is clear okay if it's not you can check this one okay any doubts you can ask now uh, otherwise we will be moving on to the next one so here gdp of a country is given we are asked when is the GDP highest in the given time period. So the time period is given as 0 less than t less, less than or equal to t less than or equal to 28. Okay. And the GDP is given as in billion dollars also. So this is the function we have been given with. Okay. We have to find out the highest value. So this is just the same procedures only. First you have to find out g dash of t so it will be coming like minus point uh, one nine six into three t square so that will be coming <coughs> like anyway i'll write that one minus point one nine six into three t square plus three point two four four into two into two t okay though so that you can solve and get it like minus point five eight eight t square plus six point four eight eight t so anyway checking this one you can see that one of the solutions will be t equal to zero right and another one will be so it will be like if you substitute it equal to zero 
it will be coming like t into 0.55 t plus 6.48 so t other t value will be 6.488 divided by minus 0.588 so the value will be coming around 11.3 if you are getting different answers you tell me okay and g double dash of t okay we will just see if, uh, the second derivative also ok then we will look at the question so double dash if you are taking it will be coming like this one like 0.588 into 2 t ok plus 6.488 right and we have to find it for this equal to 0 ok so it will be coming like 6.488 and the double derivative with respect to this value 11.03 so that you have to find out also ok so answer will be coming round I think it will be like 0.588 into 2 minus 0 0.588 into 2 into 11.03 okay so the answer will be coming like and there is a plus also plus 6.488 so answer will be coming like so this is like a minus value and this is a plus value so Answer will be coming like around anyone has solved it I am also just solving it ok okay you can ask it ask the doubt here now minus 6.48 okay that's true everyone else has got it just waiting for everyone You can ask your doubt meanwhile. Okay, I think everyone has got the answer. Okay, so I don't know what to call you. Y two zero double E. Okay, you can ask your question. or type in the chat window what is your doubt ok while waiting for that we will just see the answer ok so what we are getting GDP highest in the given time period ok so the double derivative here is less than 0 that means the particular objective function is maximized so that means that here at t equal to 11.03 the GDP is highest in the given time period ok for t equal to 11.03 so that is the answer ok is everyone fine with that so you have got it here like minus 6.48 for 11.03 since you were looking at where the GDP is highest in the given time period that means the double dash of f of x should be less than 0 for maximizing ok in that case we will be getting like this one any doubts or I will move on to the next question
ओके आई एम आई थिंक एवरी वन इज फाइन विद द क्वेश्चन द फंक्शन इज डिफाइंड एज सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सेवेंटी एक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व फाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एट स्टेशनरी पॉइंट इट्स वेरी स्ट्रेट अवे यू कैन डायरेक्टली गिव मी द एंसर ओके जस्ट फाइंड इट आउट एंड गिव मी द एंसर So I'll just start solving. Also, f dash of x equal to fourteen x plus seven, so seventy. Yeah, x equal to minus point five. Answer D. Yeah, answer D is fine. Why have you got minus point five, Nagashiva? Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Everyone is getting the answer. It is minus five. Okay. So I'll directly move on to the next question. Anyway, I have written the answer also. So that uh, now we'll move on to some practice questions. If anyone has any doubt in between, just ask. Okay. So this is, these are just some theory questions only. The class of optimization problem with no constraints are known as. Tell me the options A, B, C, or D. Okay, unconstrained optimization problems. This is direct. The optimum for a function f of x at x star exists if what is the answer for the second question? Okay, everyone is giving as a. The first derivative of x star is zero. Okay, that is fine. Optimum exists if the first derivative is Zero. Okay. When the feasibility regions divide by equality constraints and inequality constraints are compared, can you tell me? I think this will be coming in your next week only, but you can tell me the answer. Okay. Yes, the inequality constraint will be greater. That is true. Then f of x equal to twelve x raised to four minus two x cube. Plus nine x square plus five. First order necessary condition for either the maximum or minimum. Directly you can tell. I think I have given this earlier also. It will be like forty eight x cube minus six x square plus eighteen x square zero. Yeah, that's B. Yeah, right. Everyone else is fine, right? The restrictions on the possible values of the solution to the optimization problems are called. The restrictions are asked. What will be the restrictions? Okay. Okay. Yeah, everyone is true. Okay. So. till now i have given some problems actually this particular week is um a very comparatively easy week actually the lectures in this particular week so we we'll look at an r problem also so this is like a company wants to maximize the profit of two products okay so this particular problem will cover everything that we have looked okay so because anyway you have studied finding the eigen values for r Uh, using R Studio in the last week, so all the problems that you have solved can be tried in R also. So just I'll see, uh, show one example. So company wants to maximize the profit of two products A and B, which are sold at twenty five and twenty dollars respectively. There are eighteen hundred resource units available every day, and product A requires twenty units while B requires twelve units. Okay, so Two products are there. A, B. A requires twenty, and B requires twelve units. Both of these products require a production time of four minutes, and both of them require production time of four minutes. And total available hours, working hours are eight per day. Okay. What should be the production quantity for each of the products to maximize the product? So this is a maximization problem. Objective function is like. maximum of sales can be given uh, as so what i'll be doing is like for one of the thing y1 is the units of product a produced okay 
y2 is the unit of b produced okay so it will be like it is given like 1 is sold a is sold as 20 at 25 so 25 into y1 plus 20 into y2 that is the price of the product okay y2 and y1 and y2 are the decision variables 20 and 25 of the selling price since we are looking at the sales okay so production quantity for each of the product to maximize the profits is asked so first you have to find out how to see the profit so maximizing the sales equal to maximization of number of y1 produced plus 20 into number of y2 that is product b produced okay so we will see this one so we have two constraints here so this is the objective function okay now we have two constraints also right so like you can see here the resource constraint how can you say it as a resource constraint there are 1800 resource units available every day okay and in the resources a requires 20 units so for the resources okay resource constraints a requires resource constraint a require 20 units and b require 12 units so that's why you can give 20 into in the resource constraints number of products of a is like y1 plus 12 into y2 okay so it's a constraint so it should be less than or equal to 1800 so that is given there so that is the resource constraint and you have also you are also given with the working hours so there is a there is a total of eight hours and in that four minutes is required for one of a, a product and uh, four minutes required for b product so you can give that also as 4y1 plus 4y2 should be less than 8 hours okay since these two are in minutes we will be converting 8 hours into minutes also so that is why we are getting like giving like 8 into 60 so that it will be converted into minutes. So we have seen the time constraint as well as the resource constraints so two equations are here and we also have the objective function given like maximum of sales equal to max of 25y1 plus 20y2 so i think this is these both these things are clear any doubts okay so we'll move on to r studio okay so right now we have defined this much right so this is the same question okay so what you have to do is like i have just given everything for this particular um, thing we have to uh, we have this we have to install this particular thing okay lp solve okay so this one uh, right now i have installed it it is present present there okay so the same questions we will be giving like objective dot input okay dot in as this one okay so all these things we are loading and objective we are giving like this one okay so just I'll clear everything so again i'll just run this one okay so first is our objective function so our objective function just i'll go back to the powerpoint slideshow so it's like 25y1 plus 20y2 that we have defined here 25 and 20 okay now we will create a matrix for the constraints so our constraints is like constraints we have defined as 20y1 plus 12y2 less than or equal to 1800 and 4y1 plus 4y2 less than or equal to 480 minutes okay so that we will be giving like 20 12 4 2 n row equal to 2 so we will be telling like number of rows equal to 2 and we will be filling it like by row equal to true that is that is how we will be giving the matrix for constraints okay so we have found this like 20 12 4 and 4 now we have given it like we have named it like first one resource constraint given like 1800 and time constraint as 480 minutes right 
so we will be giving like time constraint like this one and resource constraint 1800 okay so just just i'm printing these values okay resource constraint and time constraint it's loaded there okay and setting arches and direction of the constraints okay so what you have to do here you first have to give the uh, you have to assign each to the given metrics so resource constraints should be given to this one and time constraint should be given to this one then you have also to define the direction also so the direction means like less than or equal to in this particular case so for that we will be giving like an RHS criterion so right hand side like that only so RHS should be C of resource constraint should be coming first right and then time constraint so resource constraints first you will be giving and then time constraint you will be giving so when you print this one RHS will be coming like 1800 and 480 okay then you will be defining the direction so both directions as you can see in the this one it is less than or equal to so you can give like c of less than or equal to and less than or equal to if you run that the directions will be like this now anyway you have given everything you have defined everything you have defined the direction you have given the constraints you have given the metrics and you have given the objective function so the final step will be to find the optimal solution so in that this lp solve is required right so optimum will be given like lp okay you have to see the syntax direction either minimum or maximum whatever is given so in this question we have to maxim we had to maximize that's why we'll be giving the direction as max otherwise it is a, if it's a minimization problem you have to give us min then objective dot n we have already given that constant we have already given directions we have mentioned okay i mean constant dot mat constant dot ter uh, means the direction and constant dot rhs means the rhs okay everything we have defined and we'll run this and see what happens so opti success the objective function is 2625 okay so we'll we are getting it like that just if you see summary of optim summary of optimum you will be getting like this particular big kind of thing so it's like direction length class mode everything will be given x count objective function constant count everything which we have used and some other things also okay we have found the solution also so if you want to find find the solution you will be getting like 45 units of uh, you I mean 45 units of product A and 75 units of product B x1 x2 will be the solution okay so this is how you can solve it so optimum values for y1 and y2 that means the number of product and product B can be found out like this okay now in between if you want to see the maximum sales figure that we have found out already 2625 that can be found out with this particular objval okay so this is given here okay so all these things can be called out by using optimum dollar this one so optimum dollar solution will give you the values of y1 and y2 that means the product a and product b and optimum dot objval will give you the maximum sales figure okay so in this particular example okay what should be the product and production quantity for each of the products to maximize the product it will be 45 units for product a and 75 units for product b should be used to maximize the production quantity for quantity okay and if you do that the maximum sales figure will be 2625 okay so these are the things for today and if you want to see more problems i have given a link you can visit that link and see is this particular problem um, clear for everyone are there any doubts if you have any doubts with any of the problems that were discussed or any other doubts you can just ask me now
okay so i think i think everyone is clear with all these things i'll be sharing the r file also okay okay if anyone has any doubt just you can tell me so i hope everything is clear right so okay then everyone we i'll see you next week and have a nice rest of the day okay okay everyone